Hey guys, so here we've got a Laplace transform using the definition, but today it's going to be a piecewise function. So this example is going to be a piecewise function. And this is really where the power of Laplace transforms comes in. Whenever we have a differential equation, maybe the forcing function looks something like this, some piecewise function. Laplace transforms are going to make it really easy, well, a lot easier to solve the differential equation. So this is where the power of Laplace transforms comes in. So if we look at the example, it says find Laplace transform of the function f of t equals, well, for 0 to 2, the function is just a straight line t. And then from 2 to infinity, it's the function 1 minus t. So we want to find Laplace transform of this function. So just a few things to recall that the limit as t goes to infinity t to the n, e to the negative st, that's equal to zero. Also, the definition of Laplace transform is that Laplace of f equals the integral zero to infinity f of t, e to the negative st, dt. So just some things we want to recall before we actually finish the example here. So we start off with the definition. We have Laplace transform of f is equal to integral from 0 to infinity f of t e to the negative st dt. Now here's the difference with piecewise functions. I have a different piece depending on where my variable t is. So depending on where t is, I have either t or 1 minus t as my function. So actually what we do is we split this integral up. We go from 0 to 2. Then we use that piece. That piece is just t e to the negative st dt plus integral from 2 to infinity 1 minus t e to the negative st dt. All right, so that is going to be where we start our integrations. Both of these are going to be integration by parts. Both require integration by parts, so let's look at the integration by parts. I'm going to let u be t and v dv be equal to e to the negative st dt on the first integral, and then I'm going to let u equal 1 minus t and dv equal e to the negative st on the second integral. So we're just doing integration by parts. I'll probably just use tabular on both. I have a t, a 1, and a 0 e to negative st, negative 1 over s, e to negative st. So integrating on the right and differentiating on the left is going to give us 1 over s squared e to negative st. All right, over here we got 1 minus t, negative 1, and 0. So we just differentiate down to 0 because whenever we multiply by 0, that's going to give us 0. So we don't keep going after that. So e to negative st negative 1 over s e to negative st, and then 1 over s squared e to negative st. So now these two integrals are going to become, see we multiply, keep the sign, multiply, change the sign, multiply, keep the sign, multiply, change the sign. So when we do this, we're going to get negative t over s e to the negative st minus 1 over s squared e to the negative st. And now here's the difference. We go from 0 to 2 for the first integral, and then plus, and then we have 1 minus t times negative 1 over s e to the negative st. Minus minus is actually going to be plus 1 over s squared e to the negative st. And now the second integral goes from 2 to infinity. So we've got to plug in these bounds to these terms for t. So we're plugging in for t. So this is going to be negative 2 over s e to the negative 2s minus 1 over s squared e to the negative 2s. 
now plug in t equals zero. So minus minus is going to be plus zero plus one over s squared e to the zero, but that's just one. All right, plus and plug in t goes to infinity this thing is going to go to zero. Although this is going to go to minus infinity, this is going to go to zero faster. We talked about that in our theorem. So our theorem says that this product is going to go to zero as t goes to infinity. So that's going to be zero plus as t goes to infinity. This is also going to go to zero minus plug in two, get one minus two times negative one over s e to the negative two s plus one over s squared. So this would just be e to the negative two s over s squared. All right, so then all we gotta do now is simplify. So this is going to simplify. This is a negative one, but it's already negative, so it's positive. So let's simplify this. It's gonna get negative two over s e to the negative 2s minus 1 over s squared e to the negative 2s plus 1 over s squared. Let's simplify some of these things here. So minus negative 1, negative 1 is going to be minus 1 over s e to the negative 2s. Actually, that should also be a minus there. Because when I plug in that lower bound, I get a minus and then a minus. So that should have been a minus. Minus e to the negative 2s over s squared. And then all we got to do now is simplify the last expression into a single term. So this is going to simplify to... going to simplify to negative 3 over s e to the negative 2s minus 2 over s squared e to the negative 2s plus 1 over s squared. And that is the Laplace transform of our piecewise function. So that doesn't necessarily look a lot prettier but it is going to make the differential equation eventually when we start working with differential equations. It's going to make the differential equation doable, which is really 